Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back on our Race to the North series. The year is 1873 and we have £15.5 million pounds in the bank, which is uh, very exciting, isn't it? Uh, we are by a bridge on our new, or our upcoming, Midland Main Line, which runs parallel. Oh, I was hoping that train would run across the bridge while we were here. And then that would look really cool. Hello and welcome back to another... No, you can't do it again. You've already done it. Uh, yeah, we're going to be making a uh, making headway on our Midland Main Line, which is going to run from London down that way up to Sheffield up that way. Ah, here comes the train. Here comes the train. This is what we were waiting for, isn't it? Just just a little bit longer. A little... Hey, there we go. Oh, that was worth waiting for, wasn't it? That's a minute of your life you'll never get back. Right there, so let's make a... Uh, let's continue. We've built down to Nottingham already from Sheffield. I keep thinking, because I've built the railway like that, I keep thinking, oh, the railway comes to about here, we won't have that much to do. But obviously, it's, uh, it is up here. Now, uh, I think from Nottingham, we're probably going to end up... Uh, right, are we running... I think the left two lines are going to continue down this way, aren't they? So what we could do... Uh, right, we'll go for the standard track. Were we using a 125 mile an hour track here? Whoops. I don't want to build over there. No, we're, we're not building at Peterborough yet. It's not your turn. That's the land use layer, not the speed layer. Where's the speed layer? Uh, 125. There we go. So we'll continue with 125 mile an hour track. There we go. Keep it flat. Now, the aim of this is to get steel from there which there is, to there, which there isn't. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll continue with this. Right, 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 right. Uh, and, of course, we'll even be able to get some passenger services in as well. So that'd be nice, won't it? What we'll do is we'll keep this running down here. Oh, we could run, you see, what happens if I just attach that to there? Now, it's saying it's collisioning. What's it collisioning with? Right, these roads. So we'll take the roads off. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll take this road off as well. Because we can always put the roads back in, can't we? Oh, will take that off. There we go. Right, where's the where's the doodah? There he is. I really do like these cornfields. They uh, they make it look so pretty, don't they? It's a, it's a very pretty map, this one. Right, 125 mile an hour. Now, obviously, we're not going to get to 125 mile an hour in the year 1873, are we? I mean, to be fair, we're probably never going to see 125 mile an hour on this line at all. Because when you think London to Nottingham, it's not actually that far. The trains probably won't be able to get to 125 mile an hour. But we'll have 125 mile an hour capable trains, won't we? Obviously, this is to go up the west coast there. So we'll just stick that in just to make it look a bit more. There we go. Lovely. I was just thinking, oh no, have I built on the wrong bit? So, what we'll do is we'll stick you in first, and then, are we getting the auto-sig yet? Yeah, do your thing, auto-sig. Or don't. That works. Has it done it now? Yes, there we go. All the way up to Nottingham. And then we'll stick you on there so that you can go all the way back down to London. Lovely. We'll stick another signal just before the junction, and then another one just after. Lovely. And I tell you what, we haven't actually got that long to go up here, have we? So we'll, we'll bob some semaphore in like that. Lovely. Keep it going. We're nearly there, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. People did also comment, actually, this... Uh, oh, hang on, while I'm here, while I'm thinking about the comments, we need to change Houston, London Euston St. Cross to London Euston St... Pancross. There we go. St. Pancross. That's brilliant. Excellent. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for that. I loved it. It made me chuckle. Uh, so, yeah, a couple of people did point out this is going to be like the East Yorkshire series on steroids for like freight trains and goods trains and everything else. A couple of people did also mention curved stations, which is an exciting mod, isn't it? Can we actually get you around there? We can, because then this can sort of do that and we can make it all meet up. It'll look brilliant. Right, so... Let's go for, tell you what, let's not go for that, because we need to find a way of connecting it to our depot at Reading, don't we? So we've got this line here, uh, which runs round like that, but obviously because of how the new depots are, that's not going to work. So we could run round the top of Reading, couldn't we, in a sort of fashion. There we go, if we, if we bring you off there, there we go, totally flat. 
run you up. Up here, yeah. That is colliding. Why are you colliding? Why would you do that? There we go. Right, bring you sort of there. And then we'll work you up to there. And then you can zigzag across. How's that? There we go. Keep it at 60. Beautiful stuff. Right. Then, this can... Is that two track or single track? That is single track. So we can bring you round there. Excellent. We'll have another crossover. It just makes the lines a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? And it means that everything can get everywhere. Right, hang on. So we need a one-way signal there. Another one there. Yeah. Another one there, and that shouldn't be one way, that can be two way. That can be two way, and that can fix there. Lovely. All I'm thinking of is that might not work. If, if a train's zigzagging across here and another one there, that, that might... It has the potential to bring everything to a standstill. Right. Can we actually snake across there? I don't know if we can. We could... I mean, what we could do, we could, I mean, what's that? That's 30. We could bring you around there. Which is going to work, potentially. Yes. That's going to work better. You can actually just, I mean, that's going to be horrendous, isn't it? In terms of, all right, tell you what, we'll delete that. Pop the signal in there, but not one way. There we go. Because we're not going to actually have that many trains using this, are we? In all fairness, it's just going to be when new deliveries take place. And it's only going to be for passenger services. Which, for the East Midlands, for the Midland Main Line, there's probably just going to be one, isn't there? Nottingham, Sheffield, Nottingham, London. There we go. London, Euston, St Pancross. Lovely. Right, so that will be the train. London to Sheffield. To Sheffield. Sheffield. Lovely. Right, okay, so we need a couple of trains, don't we? Let's, uh, let's have a look at what we've got in the Reading Train Care Depot. Uh, we have got... Ooh, what's this? 50 mile an hour, 50, 50, 40, 40. See that? Ooh, the Sterling, that could do 70 mile an hour, 506. So that can go faster. No, sorry, that's got more horsepower, but not as much tractive effort. Right, tell you what, we'll have you. Bit of 70 mile an hour running, wow. Five? You can carry 75, do you reckon that's fine? You can carry six. Buy two of you. 13. 13 million. Excellent. London to Sheffield. Off you pop. Right, okay. So it is actually finding the route, which is good. It says it can find the routes. So that's excellent. Right, you're going to go round there, up there, down there, round the sides. Lovely. Right. So that's, that's excellent. Right, now what we need to do is make sure that Nottingham and Sheffield do have an adequate bus connection. Sheffield, uh, oh yeah, we've got the trams outside, haven't we? Because obviously Sheffield Super Tram. What I might do with the Sheffield Super Tram is just sort of do a, a loop of the town. Or I might not at all. There we go, we'll borrow five million. I might not do a lap of the uh, the city. There we go, yeah, just, just all round. And then we can get everybody in, can't we? That's lovely. Connect you there. And then what I'll do is we'll get some streets. Lovely. Tram track. Yes. That is, wow, that is a hill and a half. So we hope we don't get wheel slip going down there or everyone will be panicking. Right, so a couple of tram stops dotted around the city. Just to really help with growth. And then should we go for a clockwise and an anti-clockwise? That always works, doesn't it? Right, so we're going to go... That can be the clockwise. Yeah, there we go. So that will be tram, Sheffield, clockwise. Da, 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 da. Tram, Sheffield, anti-clockwise. Lovely. Right, okay. We need a tram depot as well, don't we? Should we pop that fairly close to... Oh, internal error. That's because I'm using the wrong one. There we go. We'll pop the tram depot near the station. Quite like that idea. Now, we need 20 trams. We'll have 10 in each direction. It is an awful lot of trams, isn't it, to be fair? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Sheffield anti-clockwise and Sheffield clockwise. There we go. Right, bring everyone to the station, please. Nottingham. Now, Nottingham also has trams. Have I... I have put trams on there as well. Excellent. We could have a tram that goes into the city and sort of round and back again and a couple of buses just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. That's what the Spice Girls say, they spice up your life. That's Well, that's exactly what we intend to do with this. Right. Into Nottingham. Just a little... Sort of tram doing that. It's quite a pathetic little tram, really, isn't it? But, bus stop on the corner. Excellent. Another one there. And another one there. Problem with doing it this way, however, is that we need two tram depots. Oh, uh, no, sorry. One tram depot and one bus depot. Right, you can go there. So this just sort of starts generating demand from the off, doesn't it? Right, the Grove, Green Lane, the Grove Park Avenue. Yeah, Tram, Nottingham. We might have to change that to, like, the Nottingham 2 if we start making more trams later. Right, uh, we'll go with 10. Because you just never know, do you? They're a loss leader at the end of the day of the trams. You know, they're, they're never going to make us a fortune, are they? But the railway is what makes the money. Right, there we go. We'll stick you there. Pop you round there. That can go up there. With one of you and a there. Lovely. So we'll just add a couple of buses in. Nottingham. One, two, three, four, five. Bus, Nottingham, one. And another one. There, da, 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 da. Lovely. Bus, Nottingham, two. Should pop a depot there. Yeah, that'll fit, won't it? Right, how many of these are we having? We'll have ten of them. We'll have five on each route. One, two, three, four, five. Nottingham, one. And Nottingham, two. Lovely. The Le Obedient. Right, how are our trains doing? Have we, uh, have we actually got anything sorted there? Oh, wow, there is a train. Where's the other chap? Is he He's following behind? There he goes, look. He's uh, motoring along. Going into Euston St. Pancross. Look at all that corn. It's not good, is it? Right, tell you what. We're, we're aiming to make it a little bit nicer, aren't we, this time? So we'll... we'll We'll just get rid of the corn. Lovely. Get rid of the corn between these lines as well. There we go. Just get rid of the lot. We don't, we don't need it, do we? Right, there we go. Yeah. I mean, I can see London sort of just becoming this, this enormous city. Go and just get rid of the corn there as well. Excellent, yeah, lovely. Hope it doesn't grow back. We're right fast, won't it? If it does. There we go. We'll just get rid of the corn on the bank there. I can't promise I'm gonna put a fence in every single time, but you know, we'll we'll just get rid of it on the bank. Makes it look a little it does look weird London running out through a cornfield, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Right, yes. You too, sir. Three passengers aboard. That is an excellent number of passengers. Well, it's three more than we did have. Oh, we're unlocking new things. I mean, 75 is an adequate number of... Uh, it's an adequate number, isn't it? Oh, we can't fit it on the sign. London, Euston, St. Pa. Oh, wait, oh, hang on. Uh, move out the way. Oh, dear. All right, headache now after being slammed into that glass. Obviously, the, uh, the second train waiting there. Now, what we can do is we can go on the timetable and have a look at our lines. London to Sheffield. Right, so, unbunch and unbunch. Should we go for nine minutes on there? Nine minutes and nine minutes. There we go. So, hopefully, there'll be a bit of unbunching going on there. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Obviously, it's going to be slow in and out of here, but hopefully we're going to have lots of trains. It's going to look absolutely awesome, isn't it? And we do have meridians, so eventually we'll be able to use meridians whizzing up and down here. That's going to look awesome. Right, so, Sheffield. Let's go for a bit of 30. 
Because we need to get this sorted, don't we? We're, uh, we're making steel. I'm going to bring you past the station. Yeah. But at a slightly lower level, because I think that looks pretty cool. I do think that looks cool, just sort of down here. Just, just like that. I mean, it's not going to be efficient, is it? Not with 30 mile an hour imposed there. But what we can do is we can bring that up round there. We get it to like 40. No, but we could get it to 35. Look, there we go. Slowly faster. Slowly getting faster, even. And then we can just sort of bit of that. Hang on. 50? Yes. Right, we'll get it to 50 so that things can start to speed up. Now, that's not going to be efficient, is it? But it's going to look really cool, I think. With loads of stuff, it's going to cause congestion. It's it's just going to look awesome. With all the stuff sort of snaking everywhere. I, I think that's going to look really good. Right, so what we'll do is we'll have a uh, have a bit of, bit of 30 on there. Lovely. The 30 round there for the junction. So now we need to find a way. So that's obviously going to go whizzing down here. But it needs to get to the Reading... The Reading Freight Hub, doesn't it? So we need to sort of... And we could bring it across to Birmingham. I think we'd be best off sort of going down this route. Because it could come through this station, couldn't it? Yeah? Are we liking the sound of that? I think that works, doesn't it? I mean, what's what's your speed limit? That's 30 there, isn't it? Well, we can slow down to 30 again at the other direction. Oh, yeah, bit of that. Yeah, and again. Come on. No, don't fail me now. It's a shame the path in isn't as good on this as Open TTD. Uh, right, hang on. That's not going to work, is it? No, 50. Try 50. Wow, you're actually going to behave at 50 mile an hour. I did not see that coming. Try again. Aha, there we go. Right, so 60. Pop a bit of 60 on there and there. Lovely. Just a goods line, so we'll just leave that at 60, won't we? Ah, that's fine. So this is going to go up and connect on here. I like that idea. Right, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll go for sort of a ladder junction. How's that? We'll, we'll snake you on there. Yes. And then 60 across. Lovely. That works really well. Oh, we've got a tunnel as well. Right, okay. Did not see that coming, but we'll uh, we'll go for it. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Obviously, the corn is going to have to go. Right, one and two. And then that semaphore just before the junction there. Lovely. Right, so hang on, what's going to happen now? So we're going to come down here. Now this is obviously... Wait, what, what's happening with the lag? That's dual track already, which doesn't have any signalling down it. So we're just going to fly down here quickly. Just auto-sigging away. I say auto-sigging, manual sigging. There we go, right, one and two. And again... Don't fail me now, come on. Oh, it's gone very laggy for some reason round uh, round wherever that place is we've just gone past. Where is it? Swindon? Oxford. Swindon's over there somewhere, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's there. Yeah, where the logs come from, Joe. Where the logs come from. Right, okay. And we'll put another, put another one of you there. This is obviously going to work. It's going to be a triumph. Yeah, and round there, lovely, and we'll pop another one there just for good measure. Right, so you're going to take the steel to there. You're then going to buy truck, bring it to here, along with the planks, because that can do both, can't it? We can just bring everything. Sometimes I feel like I am just a genius. Yep, yeah, that's, that's, I, I went there and said it. Right, why do we need trams? Tram track, no, we don't need trams for goods. Have we actually got a goods tram? Like, does that exist? Is that a thing? I don't know. Right, what we're going to do as well is we're going to build the line that comes out there 
totally new road. There we go. Joining up there. And we're going to put a couple of waypoints on. So that our trucks will not go through the housing. Because that's just nice, isn't it? I think they're probably going to end up going down there as well. Right, okay, never mind. So, we're going to start there. Yeah? And we're going to go there. So that will be the truck... London Machines Resources. Because obviously it's doing both, isn't it? Resources, steel, and the other one. So, we're going to go for the, the depot there. Now that can take planks and steel, and not machines. So we want it to be able to bring machines back. Right, we'll go with that. We'll go with 20 of them. So 20 times 5, we can carry 100 then. We'll go with 40 of them. We'll go with 30 of them. There we go. That's that's sort of halfway, isn't it? Right, truck, London, machines, resources. Right, you're going to then do that. So now we can go for the Reading Train Care Depot. Hang on, which, which way are we going here? No, that's fine. That is absolutely fine out there. So we need a good, uh, a good goods train. Good goods locomotive. Have we got the, uh, what have we got down here? So that's, that's good. What's the difference? That one looks meatier. We'll go for a black one. Now, what are we bringing? We're bringing steel, aren't we? But if we can bring steel and also, because if we can, if we can bring steel, Nottingham wants machines, so we could then take, ah, oh, clever. We could take machines back to the north. So if we can find like a sort of all round goods wagon, Where's me? Where's me meaty train? There we go. Right, there we go. Wagons. You can only do 30 miles an hour. That's not really going to cut the mustard, is it? You can take machines. You can't transport steel. You can do all cargo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 70. Right. There we go. Can we buy you now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can go with that. Excellent. So I have not put in a, a route for it, have I? So we're going to start up here at the Sheffield Distribution Hub, which will be named accordingly. And we're going to go down to the Southern England Distribution Hub via our new uh, fruity little line. Excellent. So that will be... The, uh, I mean, to be fair, it's a distribution hub sort of bi-directional thing, isn't it? Uh, right, okie dokie. So that will be the train. Central, south, hub, shuttle. The central to the south hub shuttle. I've lost my train now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, there we go. Where's my train? There it is. The Central to the South Hub Shuttle. Catchy name. I, I know all the good names. Because that can also take food from there. Up to there. Because Sheffield needs food, doesn't it? So, what we'll do is we'll pop a, pop a, a sort of... Hang on, what are you guys carrying? Sheffield Iron Ore. Right, what vehicles are these? Because if we could get them to stop to take food. No. Ah, it's alright. Right, we'll stop there. So that can be the Sheffield truck, Sheffield distribution. Sheffield Distribution 1, how's that? Right, so you're going to have to take food, aren't you? That's an Asian one, why have we got that? Truck, Sheffield Distribution, Sheffield Distribution, I'm looking at trams, that's why. Sheffield Distribution 1. Right, so hypothetically, we can now bring food to Sheffield. Obviously, we can take machines to Nottingham, That that's going to work. So are we going to start having food waiting here? Because that would be pretty awesome if we could. This is causing mayhem. What we might do 
is, uh, is go for the in route there and an outward route there. That might work better. Out there, in there. Can we delete this bit? There we go. I mean that's a that's a look. Right, how's that going to work? Is it is it going to work better? I don't know. That feels like it's made everything worse. Hmm. I guess it, the separate, it feeds in from both directions now, doesn't it? And sort of lines feed out from both sides. Yeah, I, I guess it could work. We have food waiting, people. We've got food waiting. Right, where's me? Oh, yeah, this guy's sort of gone round and then back out, hasn't he? Oh, no, that's the planks train. That's why. This guy. This is the guy. The central. Oh, he's got one food. One item of food. How lonely. But he's on it. He's absolutely off, isn't he? Right, have we got steel waiting up here? We have. Oh, it's going to work. I'm so excited. I do love it when a plan comes together. I really do. How are the trains doing? How are the passenger trains? Have we got... We've got... What are you? You've got quite a few people on board. Oh, brilliant. For some reason, you're not spacing correctly. Could really do with, uh, with you guys spacing a bit better. You're full. Excellent. How many have we got from the other direction coming back up north? Excellent. So you'll be full again. You're off. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, it's it's coming together, isn't it, people? This is good. We're going to pop the old fast forward on because I want to see this train. That is the wrong one. So obviously the Central to South Hub Shuttle. This is like going to be a staple freight route now, isn't it? It's, so we need wagons for the rest of time that can do all cargo. You know? This is going to keep catching that guy up, because I think he can only do 35 miles an hour. It would help. I mean, there's 220 planks waiting there. That's only going to increase, isn't it? Come on, let this chap through. Why is he coming through on the wrong line? Nah, I guess it means that this guy can set off. I think that was probably the most efficient th way that that could have happened. Does mean that you can only do 30 through the station, but I'm I'm fine with that. Oh no, he's on the wrong line, for goodness sake. This is why you signal, Joe. This is why you signal. Right, oh no, we have no money. We are lacking in monies. So he's obviously just going to run up that side of the main line. Excellent. There we go. We'll have a signal on either side. Signal either side there. That'll do. And another signal there. Why not? Because obviously it's going to have to slow down when it goes through Nottingham, isn't it? Uh. Problem is now is everything goes through there, whereas we had that sort of nice little I'm gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna yeah, right, one can go to three, two can go to four, there we go. So then the goods can run through those lines. It's not efficient by any stretch, but obviously they can then come across these faster lines here. Have we got lots of steel at the other end? Oh, we do. 54 steels. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated by myself. And uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Comments in the description. No, comments in the comments section. That's where they always go. 
comments in the description, are you mad? Uh, yeah, comments in the comments section below, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any fantastic ideas you have for the series, or anything in particular that you wish to see. I mean, that's, that's gonna look so cool, isn't it? When we've got things like 66s running up and down, like queuing to get in, it's just gonna be carnage, isn't it? Absolute mayhem. Yeah, I can't wait. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and, uh, and hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.